Good morning, Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you who are new to the channel, Cancer, please do me a huge favor. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell. Also, Cancer, if the reading resonates for you, please do me a huge favor. Hit the like button as well as leave a comment down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Cancer, this morning we're just going to continue in the series that I've been uploading to my YouTube channel, which is are they the one tarot spread okay i'm doing love messages from spirit so what we're basically want to do is ask spirit a few questions in regards to your current relationship the person you're dealing with thinking about even if you two aren't necessarily together but you want to be together and we're just going to ask you the universe what it is that you find attractive about this person what's not so attractive what's hot what's not right then we're going to ask how you two um, are connected emotionally what connects you to on an emotional level physically attractive spiritually attractive, intellectually, how do you two connect? And then what is the question you need to ask yourself regarding this person? Could this person be the one for you, right? Or are you hindering the relationship in any way, right? Are there any blocks that could be coming up in the relationship, okay? And we're gonna get an overall message from Spirit regarding the relationship. So stay tuned. Here we go, Cancer. All right, so the deck that I'm using, in case anyone's wondering, is called the Mystic Dreamer Tarot. My favorite deck by far. And then for clarification purposes, we'll probably end up using the my trusty um, Rider Waite. This deck, let me tell you about this deck. This deck really picks up my energy. I don't know why, but I, it, it never fails me for sure. So when I need to clarify a question from spirit or the universe or source, I will just use my right away and boom, it just like, it just comes out so clear. Um, but this particular deck here, the Mystic Dreamer Tarot, like the cards are gorgeous. I just want y'all to see it. See that emperor card? Like it's just the image of the emperor sitting on his throne, how he kind of governs the world. You have the, well, here's the world. I'm sorry. The moon is up here. There's some things maybe that are unknown to him, but I love the depictions of the images in these cards. Because just going through a few of them, nine of wands, <laughs> and it, like they're just so vivid. Like the, it gives you a clear picture. Okay, so anywho, cancer. I'm sorry, I went off on a little side note there. <laughs> I do not own the copyright to any of the decks that I use in my readings. Also, readings are for entertainment purposes only. Cancer, please do not make any life-altering decisions based on a reading, um, as I am not a medical professional. Okay. Also, Cancer, for a limited time, ooh, excuse me, sorry about that, I am offering free personal readings. So if you are interested in a free personal reading for me, Cancer, please email me at my email down in the description box below, okay? And also, any donations would be greatly appreciated because my birthday is coming up at the end of next month, and I'm wanting to start a fundraiser, and I'm wanting to donate to charity for those children, like, who have cancer, and, um, yeah, they're just... They don't really get to get out, and um, I wanted to start a fundraiser for them. So if you would be so kind as to donate to my channel, it would be greatly appreciated. You can also um, donate to that my email address down below because it's connected to my PayPal. Or um, if it helps everybody, I will put my PayPal link down in the uh, down in the description box below if necessary. But I think you should just be able to send it to my email, and it, it, would, it would come through. But any donation is appreciated, just so you know. It doesn't matter the amount. What matters is, you know, the heart, where the heart is, right? So, Spirit, please give us messages for Cancer, Sun, Rising, and Venus. What's hot about their person? Cancer, you could be dealing with a Libra. The Justice card came up. You could be dealing with a Libra for sure. But um, I think you feel like this person, because the Justice is all about balance, fairness, equality. This person wants an equal balanced relationship that's not just physically in the physical sense um giving and receiving love but also on an emotional level as well and i also feel spiritual too that's what that's what's hot about your person what's not so hot about this person Ooh, cancer four of wands now why would that not be so hot i'm not quite sure but that's why we have our rider weight deck here to clarify with spirit so that's exactly what we're gonna do let's let's ask so spirit 
Spirit, why is the Four of Wands here for what's not hot about? Ooh. <clears throat> Six of Swords. Cancer, the person you're dealing with could still be connected to someone. They could have a whole family somewhere and you not even know that they're not letting go of because it's a codependent situation. So spirit, why is, it, why, why is the Six of Swords in reverse? Tell us more. Why is the Six of Swords in reverse? Ooh. Yep. Then come, pops up the Eight of Swords. This person feels stuck in this family that they've created. I feel that's, that's the energy I'm feeling. That's the message that Spirit has given me, Cancer. They could have children with someone. Um, they could have been in a committed relationship before they they um, met you. Cancer is what I'm feeling. And this is what's not so attractive about this person. You may know a little bit about the situation. But the person is feeling stuck. Really, I don't know why. But the energy, the Eight of Swords kind of gives me, it kind of pisses me off a little bit. Because it's like, this person, this is all self-sabotage. This is all like in their mind. That they're trapped because nobody holds you against your will. Every every person is free will to do whatever they please. If you don't want to be in a situation, you can you can damn sure get out of it if you really want to. If they really want to make the effort. But with the six of swords here in reverse, this person is still stuck in some type of toxic, um, emotionally manipulative, manipulative, abusive type of relationship, and or codependent relationship, and they're not. <sighs> They're not done with it. Let's say maybe they're trying to get out of it. They could be trying to get out of it. That could be what's, yeah, what's blocking your relationship. That's what's not hot about them, Cancer. That maybe they're in the transitional phrase because the Six of Swords in reverse is transition. This person could be leaving the toxic codependent relationship or trying to, but still, still in it. You know what I mean? Like they're not fully out of it. Maybe one more, Barrett. Why is the Six of Swords here in reverse? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Let's see it. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Ooh, okay. All right, I see it. Yeah, this person could be dealing with a Sagittarius Cancer, um, but this person is typically trying to find balance. This is Major Arcana. So they definitely went through something recently with someone that they had a serious connection to, a committed relationship, possibly a family with children and whatnot, home, assets. And this person is trying to balance everything out. So they could really just be focusing on balancing out not only um, finances and things of that nature, but also emotionally, how to handle everything. That could be what's not so hot about your person. And you kind of, you kind of pick up your person's energy cancer, I feel. So you can kind of tell that something's kind of bothering them or they're kind of dealing with something. Um, my advice, just be patient because, you know, we can't uh, we can't force anyone to do anything. And if this person really loves you, they're going to try to figure out how to get out of the situation, right? That's how I see it, Cancer. All right, so why is the Justice card here? Spirit, why is the Justice card here? justice yeah this person does not want any type of lies betrayal they've been through that in the past i feel with this relationship that they are trying to get out of um with you that's what you love about them this person is very honest this y'all know this is my <laughs> this is my fuck shit card the seven of swords this person wants to be um transparent with you okay so they want to be honest they want to be fair tell me more spirit why is the justice card here Why is the justice card here for what's hot about Kansas person? Tell us, tell us what we need to know. There we go. Yeah, this person also has, um, they keep you intrigued. They could very be, this person is highly intuitive and they're in touch with their inner, their inner voice, right? Their intuition, they use their intuition and they're very perceptive. So um, you guys probably have very deep, meaningful conversations, Cancer, I feel, because this person is like a, they keep things close to their chest. They don't, they're, they're very, um, what is the word I'm looking for, spirit? Please give me the word I'm looking for. Discreet. Yes. This person is very discreet. So if you share something personal with them, this is not the type of person that's going to go around telling everybody in the damn neighborhood what you told them about, you know what I mean? Or telling their family, oh yeah, she told me this or he told me that. This person, um, they know things. The high priestess is the keeper of secrets and knowledge. 
But also, the high priestess also on a subconscious level uses her intuition and perception to make wise decisions. Yeah. Eight of Cups. In this particular situation, you feel like that they left a difficult difficult relationship in their past that they had a lot of emotion for. Um, which is true in a sense because they're with you, Cancer. But also, I feel like they're still in the process of leaving it behind. So that's what you like about it. That they have walked away. They've walked away, but you know what I mean? They still carry some baggage left over from it. Which is typical. Especially if you've been in a very difficult relationship. You know how that is. Okay. So what connects you to... Um, what connects Cancer and their person emotionally? Spirit, let's see. What connects... What connects them emotionally? Let's see. How, are, how is cancer and their person connected emotionally, spirit? Let's see it. How are they connected emotionally? Knight of Wands. Um, I don't feel like this is a bad energy, Cancer. I feel like emotionally you guys have a lot of passion and a lot of desire for each other. So that's beautiful. It's like you want to be together. Two more, please, Spirit. How do they connect emotionally? Usually, if the Knight of Wands pop up, it's player-like energy. But I don't feel like that here. I feel like that's just... The Knight of Wands is a lot of passion, um, desire. Sometimes he, he is, well, yeah. Sometimes he's fast, you know, without thinking, going into something. King of Swords, emotionally. You guys are very straightforward about how you feel with one another. That's beautiful. Because the King of Swords is all about truth. He's blunt. He's straight to the point. This is air energy. You could be dealing with an air sign or a fire sign, Cancer. Take it how it resonates. One more card, please, Spirit. Of how cancer in their person connects emotionally. How do they connect emotionally, please? <clears throat> Here we go. Ooh. Five of Swords. You both have walked away from difficult situations. I feel that was just a conflict for you where you were being treated like shit. The person was playing mind games with you. I feel like on both sides, like you guys don't want that energy. You know, you're mature adults and you, you're you going to walk away from anything that doesn't fulfill you. You know, anything that's going to be a conflict where somebody's going to be sneaky and playing games. You don't want mind games. That's how you two connect emotionally because you both feel the same way about mind fuckery. You don't want to be a part of it. Beautiful energy, Cancer, between you and your person. What can it, what is, <laughs> okay, hold on. What does Cancer find physically attractive about their person? Spirit. Ooh, the moon. Like I said, this person's a little bit mysterious, I feel here. I feel they're, they're a little bit mysterious. Um, could be dealing with the Pisces because the moon is Piscean energy. But I also feel like um, physically, yeah, physically attractive to the moon. This person is a little bit mysterious. You could be dealing with the Pisces. I even feel a little bit of scorpionic energy. I don't know why, but I just, yeah. I feel like you could be dealing with another water sign, which you could because cups did come out. Let's see. Three of Pentacles. In the physical sense, you you want to build and collaborate with this person. This person could be a very talkative type of person. But um, what physically attracts you to is the fact that you both have... Com I feel like you share common goals physically. One more spirit. Physically attracts them. Ooh, cancer, y'all are so blessed. Spirit just really wants to talk this morning. Sometimes I'm like pulling cards to try to, like, okay, spirit guides, I need y'all to help me out here. But this morning they seem to just like, whoop, here we go. Talk, talk to cancer. Okay. I'll pull it off. Yeah. King of Cups. I feel like this person is a charmer. 
I feel like that's what sexually, like, physically attracts you to this person, Cancer. This person is very charming. Their personality is very charming. So physically, that's how you two are attracted. Not only are they charming, but they seem very um, serious about building something with you, with the Three of Pentacles, right? We have the Three of Pentacles there. I need to see that. Um, and the Moon card, this person has a little bit of an aura of mystery surrounding them. What about spiritually? How do they connect spiritually with Cancer? Let's see it. How do they connect spiritually? Um, let's see. Nine of Cups. This person is very, um, I feel like they're in tune with the divine, with spirit. Um, they know their worth. They know their value. They're very emotionally stable um, with you and the connection with you, per se. Um, or at least they feel they feel emotionally satisfied or fulfilled when they're with you, Cancer, on a spiritual level. What about intellectually, Spirit? Intellectually, high refined. Yeah, this person is about morality, spirituality. Intellectually, I feel like this person has a lot of wisdom. There's a lot of things you guys can talk about, especially if you both are religious, and which I feel like your person may be. And also, they're um, they are very serious like loyal and committed so that's a good thing that's a good thing okay so what does cancer need to ask themselves regarding the relationship queen of wands queen of wands perfect cancer are you getting what you deserve are you getting what you feel you deserve from this person in this relationship is this the message that spirit wants you to ask yourself right because the queen of wands she doesn't take anything less than she deserves this is this is fire energy Aries Leo Sagittarius. She goes for what she wants. She's a go-getter. She's successful. She's she's attractive. She's intelligent. And she's perceptive. And she's bold. So ask yourself that question, Cancer, dealing with this person. Could this person be the one? Could they be your soulmate? It looks honestly, Cancer, from my from my viewpoint as a reader, it looks like this person has a lot of good qualities. Um, the blocks could be a prior connection, a prior family situation that they're trying to get out of. Um, but I mean, the only way you're going to know is if you communicate, right? So let's get a few love messages from the love angels, right? Real quick regarding a relationship with your person. Oh, I just messed that all the way up, didn't I? Okay. All right, Cancer. So let's see. I'm shuffling. <laughs> I'm getting better at shuffling these cards, y'all. I usually, typically, I can't. I just can't. All right, let's see what's up. Ooh, let's shuffle. Okay. All right, Cancer, I'm just going to and pick one. That's what I'm going to do for y'all. I'm going to pick one. Ooh, time. You're t you are trying too hard. Give it time. All right. Cancer, whatever happens, don't rush, okay? We have this one. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So if there's any type of resentment you're holding towards your person, cancer, let it go. Try and be understanding and compassionate of their situation and see how you guys can work out. It says surrender. Spirit wants you to surrender and let the universe do its work. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So let go of anything. If you're holding on to anything from your past, cancer, spirit wants you to know, the universe, your spirit guides want you to know, it's time to let that stuff go, you know, so that you can move forward in this new relationship and it can spring forward in a positive, positive way, okay? Give it time, right? Don't allow your emotions to cloud your, your better judgment also in the situation. Because you can have so much love for someone that you don't really put your needs first, which is why I believe the Queen of Wands popped up here for you. So just keep that in mind going forward into 2020. It's going to be an awesome year, Cancer. Thank you so much for watching. And like I said, if you're interested in a personal reading, please email me below. Thanks for watching.